Blessings and welcome for the reason right here at Trail Life. I'm on the road right here at the Bureau of Standards in the center of the metropolis, halfway tree in Kingston, Jamaica. We're at the Bureau of Standards and we're having a wonderful presentation on the future and the application of bamboo in Jamaica. So we're just going to cruise through and take in some of the presentations and represent properly the understanding of our culture going forward in such a unique building material. And this is the 50th anniversary of the Bureau of Standards, so it was indeed a very auspicious occasion. So join me as we go through this process today and see what's up and what's happening where Bamboo is concerned right here in Jamaica. Blessings and love. Happen. But 
So we're very thankful that the ban has happened. We, we have grown in the last three months. That's the best thing that could have ever happened. And I would certainly like to give a round of applause for the many people who put hard hours, hard effort, Mr. Samuda here and others who have got the ban done. So as I said, we were in denial. We thought we were hoping it wouldn't happen. Hoping and praying it wouldn't happen. However, as, as the days went by, it became clear that these guys were serious. And um, we took that to heart. We realized that if we were going to stay in business, keep serving Jamaicans, and keep employing Jamaicans, we didn't have to change. And we didn't have to change radically. So we decided that instead of opposing the ban, like many of us, some, some of us have, some of our customers have, we have decided to support the ban in every single way possible. And we've decided to support every initiative to go green, to go eco. Whoever is doing eco products, alternative products, we'd like to encourage you to keep doing them. Make more available to the Jamaicans so that we can completely get rid of all foam, all plastic in the short and the short and near future. In the past three months, we have totally forgotten about foam. We have managed to secure a large range of alternatives to foam and Plastic, mainly in paper, which is what we're focusing on. We do have other alternatives, um, bag aspen, which is made from cane trash, as everyone will know. But we do have a large range of alternatives currently available, and we are continuously working to increase that to make sure Jamaicans who are doing business have what they need and the packaging they need. We are very aware that we are in a changing world. Um, people have options, they have choices. Just one please slide you to the first one. There's a box. I've got several categories. So, a couple of So, we Good to see you again, sir. Let's sing this. <laughs> Some people use the part of the small soups. There are two types. Um, we do have double wall paper cups. As everyone would know, paper is not as insulated as foam is or was. Um, so we have a double wall which assists with that. We also have a single wall which you can attach and sleep, um, which helps with the heat as well. As it relates to straws, we have a full range of straws. So from a five and a half inch cocktail syrup, which is a five millimeter straw, to a six millimeter seven inch straw, eight millimeter eight inch straw, ten millimeter nine inch straw. So that goes from cocktail to regular drinks to jumbo straws. Those are currently available. We are also paper plates, um, both coated and uncoated. Obviously, the coated ones are sturdier plates we use for heavier foods. If you were just doing snacks, your on post would be your time. It's a lighter plate. And on that note, the paper plates are the same price or cheaper than the foam, so nobody should complain about that. Then there's the boxes. You have three main types of boxes paper, so all of that. This is what we call a one box. Um, the reason why it's called a one box is it has no um, edges, so it can't leak. It's I can pull a box at the back and show you, but it's one single piece of cardboard that has been folded and then lined with a, a, um, a box interior. So it is very difficult to be biodegradable. And then we have a box which is a mineral filled polypropylene. It's not biodegradable, it's eco friendly, composed in a commercial facility, which Jamaica doesn't have one yet, but we believe that that's in the future. We do also offer a full range of paper bags for your grocery solutions, bakeries, pastry shops, supermarkets, etc. That's the bag. Those are the bag boxes. Um, from a sandwich container straight to the average three cup, eight by eight. Those are the sizes we offer. So the sandwich is a nine by six. Jamaicans call it curry goat. Um, so many who would have been commercially affected approach such a change in that manner. It's definitely encouraging and, um, and heartening. 
As we move along, I'm going to invite the member from Flexpack, Mr. Hoyo. I'm not sure I saw him. Okay, Mr. Hoyo. Mr. Hoyo is someone I know quite well. He worked on the working group that looked at the issue of the ban as it related to these single-use plastic items. He was an industry rep on behalf of the GMEA looking at these items. He's someone who I know is committed to innovation in how they, he approaches his products and his product development. So I'm going to ask you to give Nigel Boyo a round of applause. Thank you, Research and countless meetings led by Ms. Marshall Berry. Congratulations. <laughs> At the start of this venture, FlexPack had interacted with the BSJ and the Canadian Packaging Consultant during the capacity building for market access project, which culminated in a tour of our manufacturing plant in Pickham Park. Many companies, I'm sure, including ours, have benefited by being able to test both locally and imported plastics, and including testing of the water quality at our plant in Spanish Town for public health certification. I would highly recommend that companies who have not already done so use these testing facilities, which will assure and confirm or not the quality of many products in question to put your minds at ease. The BSJ has worked tirelessly to make this possible. This brings me to the end of the unpaid advertisement. A little history. I joined the plastics revolution fairly late at age 34 and have been, have been in this business since 1975. And for those of you who are quick at math, I can, see I can see some wheels turning. Yes, that takes me almost 100 years old. In the beginning, there was paper and cellophane. Then plastic reared its head. The early years were exciting as polyethylene was becoming very popular in all fields of industry. Companies were looking then as now to have the most attractive looking and the most economical packaging displayed in the supermarkets and the stores. In those days, for those who remember, there were not very many imports. So exposure to foreign products was virtually non-existent and people were not open to new ideas. And for those who remember, there was a different ban on them. At times, business looked pretty grim. But fortunately, the wheel went around, albeit slowly, and eventually we were all able to move forward and develop packaging, where today it has reached exciting new heights. Plastic film has become very important in our lives for food safety. Being lightweight, economical, 
easy to manufacture and use, and in improving the shelf life of many products when laminated to other types of materials. Many persons don't know or appreciate the fact that the production of polyethylene has a very low carbon footprint compared to the most talked about alternative, paper. Another plastic-based material, polypropylene, soon replaced cellophane, which was also a wood-based product, like paper, but it became very expensive as its dependency on trees became an issue with the environmentalists worrying about proper replenishment of forestry resources worldwide. Unfortunately, plastic became a victim of its own success as disrespect for the environment world over has presented us and our future generations with what I think is currently an unsolvable problem. The damage has already been done and it has left us pondering about what the future holds. Only, only by huge efforts, research and commitment we can possibly hope to step the tide by adding less plastics to the environment. Good morning, Noah. Uh, first, I want to thank the um, Standards Council and the Standard Division for putting on this showcase for the packaging department. It is um, our services that we know offer to improve the manufacturers, importers, exporters on their packages. Um, Without further ado, let's get into the presentation. So the aim of this present of this presentation is to produce, to have the country be producing packages in a standardized manner. For this, we are we have adopted ASTM standard test methods and ISO standardized test methods. So what, what is packaging all about? So as you can see, it is a science, art, and technology of enclosing or, protect, or protecting products for distribution, storage, sale, and use. What is a package? A package is any product to be used for the containment, protection, handling, delivery, storage, transport, and presentation of goods from raw materials to processed goods, from the producer to the user or consumer, including processor, assembler, or other inter intermediary. This was taken from our um, ISO standard 21067, which is the vocabulary standard for packages. Materials used for, for food packaging and these include glass, metal, aluminum, plastics, paper, and paperboard. Our types of types of packages done are primary, secondary, or tertiary. And from the diagram below, you can see what primary is really about. It's really where the, the item that is going to be consumed or what is going to be used is placed in that can be packaged to a secondary packaging which is the uh, corrugated box right, for, for storing multiple units. And uh, <coughs> for transit, we, we tend to use a larger uh, container, which would help with the safety of the product. The right selection of packaging materials, technologies maintain the product quality and freshness during distribution and storage. This is very important as it is what we know our manufacturers will want to take into consideration when creating a package for different items to be sold. The role for protection, containment or agglomeration, marketing, security and convenience. Marketing is also very important because when you have an item being sold on the shelf, you will need to be able to capture the eyes of our consumers 
And so that as well, you know, our manufacturers want to take into consideration to avoid loss. Security, of course, that is also important. You do not want your items to be exposed to any contamination or damage. Next slide. Okay, so physical protection. The objects enclosing the package may require protection from, among other things, mechanical shock, vibration, electrostatic discharge, compression, temperature. Of course, we, we know um, how temperature can affect um, our packages, depending on the amount of heat that it, that it can absorb. Um, compression, of course, because when you are chan when you are transporting when you are transporting packages, you have times where you will stop them. In warehouses, you will, you have um, stops that are piled up on each other. You want to ensure that the the weight is suitable for that type of package. Barrier protection. A barrier from oxygen, water vapor, dust, etc. is often required. Permeation is, is a critical factor in the design. Of course, we know um, here our water can be transported across um, into what our buyers are consuming. All right. Um, some packages contain desiccants or oxygen absorbers, then extension like modified. Atmospheres or controlled atmospheres are also maintained in some food packages, keeping the keeping the contents clean, fresh, sterile, and safe for intended shelf life is a primary function for packaging. Containment or agglomeration: small objects are typically grouped together in one package for reasons of efficiency. For example, a single bag of 100 sweets may require less physical handling than 100 single sweets. All right, liquid powders and granular materials may contain it. The marketing, the packaging and labels can be used by marketers to encourage potential buyers to purchase the product. Package graphic design and physical design have been an important and constantly evolving phenomenon for several decades. Marketing communications and graphic design are applied to the surface of the package, and in many, and in many cases, the point of sale display. Security. Packaging can play an important role in reducing the security risk of shipment. Packages can be made with improved tamper resistant to deter tampering and also have tamper evident features to help indicate tampering. Packages may include authentication seals and new security printing to help indicate that the package and contents are not counterfeit. One such is can see analysis, that is one of our accredited tests. Well, it is the accredited, the accredited test in our department. Um, this is where we test the integrity of foods packaging. Cans, you want to Alternative to plastic includes the glass, aluminum, and steel, which can be recycled and left there. Which is a common source for cleaning paper and boxes. Using bamboo is one of the major solutions we are looking at. Um, we have a special projects division that specializes in the new, um, the new, well, it's an upcoming project before we are manufacturers that are interested in using bamboo for making. Right. It is considered to be one of the best ideas for one of the parts growing grass, creating like a tree, and so it is easy to replenish. That's high compressive strength. The 
most of us had to be elsewhere. We had to travel unexpectedly, so I was unable to attend this morning. Um, it is indeed my pleasure to represent him, as I've often done in recent, in recent months. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to this meeting of the Jamaica Standards Network. I believe the topic of this meeting is critical to the environmental health and sustainable future of our beloved island. Contrary to the view of some persons in the society, we did not pull the proverbial rabbit out of the hat when we proposed the ban on single-use plastics, including single-use plastic packaging materials, particularly those commonly referred to as scandal bags, as a means of curbing the want and destruction of the environment. We looked at the realities facing us, and the truth is that the level of pollution we were experiencing, the potential health and other risks to our lives and property, as well as the general destruction of, of, the, of the natural habitats for marine life, could not continue unabated. Plastic is a convenient and cheap way of packaging goods, but it was proving just too expensive for us as a nation in terms of its toll on the environment especially when we recall Jamaica's commitment to achieve the goals articulated in the Vision 2030 National Development Plan, which requires us to advance strategies and actions that would contribute to a healthy natural environment. There is no doubt that the functions and attributes of a healthy natural environment underpin economic development and sustain human health. However, our consumption, production and disposal patterns were running contrary to these goals and the rising levels of waste is a tangible outcome. The impact on the nation's gullies, drainage systems, and associated infrastructure, and the destruction of our coastal and marine environment impose risks and costs at the country, to the country that are by far greater and more costly than the benefits provided by these materials, which linger in the environment for many years beyond their useful life, in some cases up to 500 years. The problem of plastic pollution is not endemic to Jamaica. The Gleaner recently published an article which noted that the World Wildlife Foundation is alarmed at this, the level of plastic pollution in the Mediterranean Sea after a 26-foot sperm whale was found dead off Sardinia with 48.5 pounds of plastic in its belly. However, what wasn't published is that a plastic island is developing off the coast of Honduras. And as a part of that island is some of our very own plastic waste that has been caught up in the currents and ended up there. Right here in Jamaica and the Caribbean, the UN environment, UN environment has noted that the consumption of plastics and microplastics by marine animals can lead to false safety, satiation and starvation, and death can lead to the destruction of the marine environments. At the recently held fourth session of the UN Environment Assembly, held in March 2019, Nairobi, Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, adopted a ministerial declaration to significantly reduce single-use plastics by 2030. Additionally, the ministers pledged work with the private sector to find affordable, environmentally friendly alternatives. The meeting also adopted resolutions on microplastic and microplastics, addressing single-use plastic products pollution and innovative pathways to achieve sustainable consumption and production. Jamaica supports the UNEA outcomes and will be working with all stakeholders, including the general public, with a view to the effective implementation of the declaration and the relevant resolutions. The government has embarked on several measures to combat the challenges caused by manufacture and use of certain categories of finished plastic goods and polystyrene foam, also commonly referred to by trademark names styrofoam and similar materials. On January 1 this year, the government imposed a ban on the importation, manufacture, and distribution and of single-use plastic carrier bags below the dimensions 24 inches by 24 inches and thickness of 1.2 mils or less, used primarily in the retail trade and commonly referred to as scandal bags. Exemptions from the ban will be limited to plastic bags to maintain public health standards such as those used to package raw material, raw meats, poultry, and bread. With regards to single-use plastic shopping bags made with linear LDPE, commonly branded by, by retailers, we made it clear that manufacturers and importers of these products must apply to NEPA for limited exemptions. These applications were to be considered on a case-by-case -case basis for continued manufacturing and importation, and I will know later 
uh, January 1st, 2021. What we have done 
at the Bureau of Standards is to focus on this material and to see how we can write standards for various aspects of the value chains. We have ob observed that in terms of productivity, you have a bamboo value chain in terms of edibles, where the young bamboo is in fact a source of nutrients, it's a source of food, widely used in the Chinese restaurants and the hotels in Jamaica. In fact, we import 500,000 pounds, let me use pounds, 500,000 pounds of, of edible bamboo shoots into Jamaica every year. And the international trade for bamboo shoots is 275 million US dollars per year. So we are net importers of this when we in fact could export, we could produce locally for, for import substitution and export edible bamboo shoots if we get our farmers to manage bamboo in a way where they treat the young bamboo as a crop. Because after two years, you get bamboo shoots like every month, and if properly grown, as it has not yet been done in Jamaica, it could go into many products. Uh, so I get it back there. The, the shoots itself goes into sauces. We have innovators locally that have been putting it into seasonings and pickles and ketchup and all of this uh, type of agro products where they replace some of what is there with bamboo shoots to add a nutritional value. Hi, our chemistry lab have done the test, high in protein and potassium and seven essential amino acids that the body needs. The Chinese, in fact, the scientists in China have shown that it has anti-carcinogenic properties, anti-diabetic properties, and they claim anti-aging properties. That should be <laughs> interesting. But the Chinese actually believe it, and uh, they have come here, they have visited us, they have worked with us through the International Network of Bamboo and Rattan to show that if we were to import two new species, Dendrocalamus asper and Dendrocalamus latiflorus, then we could actually be producing superior species of edible bamboo shoots. With a project with the University of the West Indies by attending the center, we are actually working actively at that in terms of tissue culture, and uh, we actually need to import some of these to tissue culture them and to get them to our farmers. We still have some problems with um, a new company. Blessings we've got Mr. We Matthew Samuda right here. Senator Matthew Samuda was the chair of this meeting. So Mr. Samuda, um, from what you saw today, please tell us, I mean, what do you think the impact of the ban on plastics will be? And as Mr. Rose is talking about bamboo, do you think it could be an alternative? So, you know, the ban the will have a quantified effect. The fact is we know the quantities of plastic bags that used to be used in Jamaica, the quantities of polystyrene foam that was used, we will reduce that from our waste stream. There's a quantified effect that I think will be very visible over the next two to three years. And we're this going to see our environment change to, to certain our environment as these items are removed. Um, I'm a huge supporter of the, the bamboo. The most I believe in this and a, a massive opportunity. The government must continue to push. The private sector should get behind it. I think it, it gives us the opportunity to supply many of the items and things that we used to have to import. Uh, blessings. So um, my, my final question is, this is something that the government is behind. I know when you say the government, it could be a lot of a few individuals. This is something that the government recognizes. I mean, that's right across the board, across the many industries, because what I've understood from the questions being asked is that this ban doesn't just affect maybe like the food industry, it affects even health and the environment. So do you think the entire government is behind this in terms of the many departments? Absolutely. I mean, the working group that was established to, to determine how to implement this pull process from all sectors right across um, the government to ensure that it was a joined up approach to how we implement it. It was cross ministry, it was cross agency, and uh, I think it's an example of how government should work in a place. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Samuda. I have a blessed day. So that was our two big investments. In terms of microscale and medium-sized enterprises, 
We have been hearing of hearing the and have to build up standards to ensure that our small businesses have enough knowledge and capability to use that more because we found a mother So it's not just the old same old same old bring that crap But right here at the build up standard, we are creating a space where we can teach. So Blessings once, once again. Love it, love it. I see the presentation looks so awesome. Trust me. The light hits it so well. I said the light hits it so well. So how was the day so far? How how, how you felt about the presentations today? Blessings, blessings. Continue to enjoy the presentation. That can match the imports. As I said before, we are writing standards. Last year we wrote some four standards that are really related to Bamboo directly. And this year, as it not yet uh, standardized, but the committee is working actively to ensure that that standard should be available by the end of this year. We are going to standardize on the length of the straw, the period of diameter of the straw. Oh, All pleasure, Nepa. Wonderful. How you like the presentation so far? So, Nepa behind the, the plastic band 100%. So, 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 you, so um, Nepa was a part of the research um, of, into the band, they did the environmental factors. Uh, blessings, blessings. Continue to well, I think it's the move in the right direction. Clean environment, healthy environment, and I love the idea of bamboo and rattan in the mix. Well, just look at the, the different stakeholders right across the board. I think that's what is necessary. And working with something cultural to bring the energy of bamboo to the masses so they can understand the essence, not just the manufacturers, but the end users. So those are the things. I want to say oh, wonderful. Industry. So, I mean, because the people can keep in contact and look on the website and, and make suggestions. Oh, nice, wonderful. It's necessary to really keep this industry growing. Moving forward and making sure that it is sustainable. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. We developed an organized approach to the industry and we work very closely with the Bureau of Standard. And we have set the tone and I believe that we are going forward. The Bank Industry Association, we show you, we come from the Bank people. They are members of the association. It's a work, a collaborative work that we have done together, that we have reached this far. The, one of the principal, the local principal, could make it today, but he is out in St. Catherine, where he's identified 30 acres of land, where we're going to put the factory. So by November, as Mr. Rose said, we should be in production. And there are other things that we're doing. We had a meeting with the Ministry of Mining and the Bauxite, so Bauxite, Industry, Bauxite uh, Institute yesterday, because we see where Bamboo can help to solve the dust nuisance that they have down there. And so we're moving forward. And that gentleman who got up, Mr. Downey Walker, is really leading the charge where Bamboo um, activated charcoal is something that China would show us. But right here in Bureau, we have worked on it and we have reached a stage now where we can use it in a commercial way. And because of the Bamboo Industry Association, we can work together like this. So, what we ask persons to do, whenever you want to get involved in Bamboo, come to the association, come to the Bureau of Standard, and we'll help you because it's an organized industry and we want to keep it that way. Thank you. Plastic, 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 plastic